Today I'm going to show you how to make silver tin can mock up in Adobe Photoshop. First open your quick selection tool from the toolbar. And click and drag over the body of the tin can to select it. Press Ctrl J to cut the body of the can from its background. Let's name it, Can Body. Now open your rectangle tool from the toolbar. And click and drag to draw a rectangle. Drag the opacity slider all the way to 25%. Right click of this shape layer and convert it to smart object. Press Ctrl T to free transform. And click and drag outside the shape to rotate it. Right click and choose the distort. Click and drag of the corner handles to distort the shape and match it to your can's body. Right click again and choose warp. Open the warp list at the top and select the cylinder. Now use the handles to determine the right bend for the can. Press enter on your keyboard. Go to layer. And create clipping mask. Double click on this, and rename it, place design. Now double click the thumbnail to place your design. Just go to the file. Place embedded. And place your second image. Adjust the size and position. Hit enter once you're satisfied. Let's go back to the file. And choose save. And then close the document. Now change the blending mode of this layer from normal to linear burn. Click the FX icon and choose the blending options. Hold the alt key on your keyboard to split the white slider and drag it to the left. Then press OK. Click on the adjustment layer icon, then create a new solid color. In this color picker, choose white. Name the top layer, highlights. Go to layer. And choose the clipping mask. And change the blending mode to soft light. Decrease the opacity all the way to 60%. Now select the background or subject layer. Then from the toolbar, select the object selection tool. Open the mode list at the top and select the lasso. Create a loose selection around the entire can to select it. Let's go back to the adjustment layer icon, then create one more solid color. In this color picker, choose color for can. Name the color fill layer, can color. And change the blending mode from normal to soft light. Make one copy of it, by pressing Ctrl J. I'll decrease the opacity all the way to 50%. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.